So this is pastel at the top, this is all acrylic, and then that's acrylic, and that's got a ground on it, but it's uh, pastel on the top, which gives it the texture, nice texture for the sea. So that's the sort of things you start looking at. And I also love the direction you get in the sky. And I try and do that in my painting as well. I'm just, I like the energy of it. I'm using black, uh, Payne's gray, yellow ochre, a beautiful um, pale blue that you can only get with Liquitex, and a phthalo blue mix. So I've just got a bit of black and blue to start with. I'm going to start with the darkest areas. Does anyone else have work with um, credit cards? Yeah, they're the best, aren't they? Better than palette knives, I think. So it's all about leading you into the picture. So that's why I like these rocks. They're kind of doing it for me there. I very rarely use a brush these days. You tend to get a bit too fussy. It's always good to have some points of light on the rocks, whether it's there or not, basically. I'll leave it at that for now. And I'll just try and dry it a little bit. If you work with wet with pastel onto wet acrylic, um, it tends to go onto the pastel, doesn't it? And then you've messed up your pastel, basically. Right, so now there's a few tricks <laughs> for the horizon. I want to know where I'm going. It doesn't matter if the colour merges, but I just want to know where it is. So I'm going to do it about there. Now that wouldn't stick at all if it was wet, so that's quite good. And I'm using a very low tack, so I don't want to pull any paint off. So these are my pastels. I've laid them out um, in the colours that I'm going to use. I've tried not to be have too many choices. Um, so these are all unison pastels, um, all soft pastels. So they've got very little binder in them, they're very pure colour and they're fantastic. And once you've used them, you don't want to use anything else. So right, they're coming in, this is the, the bottom near the land. want to work on them both at the same time so you can pull the colours together. And I keep forgetting this is absolutely dry so that's fine. There's a nice turquoise there. Right. White is one you always run out of. I do tend to smudge a bit more on the sky and not try not to on the sea, but otherwise you've got just too much texture everywhere and it's too busy. I find that the darker colours are nice because they bring, they bring in the edges, so it holds it together. This is a tip I picked up the other day. If you use a grey, just a plain grey, that can pull things together quite nicely. It's, uh, it's rather like having the background colour. You can just pop that in everywhere and it gives it that unity again. I have found in the past, if you, if you don't mark it, you, you can get a slopey horizon ruined. <laughs> Which is worse when you're painting. So this is, this is what I'm looking at. And I've, I've got a nice dark area and then a really white area. So it's got some lovely patches that bring it round like that, which is great. And you can, you can layer pretty well onto this. It doesn't mind how much you put on. I do find it very annoying when it suddenly stops taking the pastel. And you haven't finished. <laughs> I 
I do work pretty quickly, I have to say. There's quite a bit of green in this sea. So I'm going to try a bit of that there. It's sometimes quite nice to just splash the white up a bit and make it a bit more exciting. So the, the white's usually the accent and that's for finishing, but I want to see where I'm at. So I'll just put some in now, which I wouldn't, <coughs> it'll come out again and then it'll go in again. And it's just to see the directions of the water. You can see the sea is a bit busy, so I'm going to have to calm that down and also smooth the sky out a bit. So I've lost the horizon Right, so I'm going to put this back again just to take away that dark line. There's a lot of ideas about smudging, whether you should or you shouldn't. I think if you're smudging the background, that's quite good, it stops the grain, the tooth. And then do something like that to just break it up a bit again. Right, so because we're doing a wave, I'm gonna do a bit of a dark line. There's a lot of linking in. You've got to make sure you haven't just got blobs in separate places. So pulling it all together. It's really nice when you're working over the, the dark colours, what comes up when you put a lighter colour on top. I'm going to give it a spray so we can start layering it. If 
you spray while you're working, it means you can go in darker. So that area, I want to make it darker. Yeah. And I'm trying to stop it falling off the acrylic. <laughs> so I've kind of reached that almost wanting to stop moment. I think I have. <laughs> 